Hey there guys, this is Chapman Kiesler here at JTEC and today we're going to be looking at some of the components of a transfer case and discussing what they do. Um, we'll start from one side of the table and move over. Um, here we have a flange hook which goes on the outside of the transfer case, connects to the rear diff, uh, front output shaft which attaches to the main shaft. Um, we have a, a, excuse me, a range shift hub and a speedometer gear here. Both uh, are important for uh, selecting modes and uh, monitoring speeds. Um, here are some of the forks that we have uh, for range and mode, uh, which will help you as far as uh, cars that drive that have uh, different options for all wheel, four wheel, different uh, modes like uh, four high, four low. Um, if we keep going here, we have a couple of different monitors and sensors, four wheel drive switch and a speed, a speed sensor. Here's a planetary gear set that we have here attached to an input shaft which also attaches to the main shaft. <coughs> On our main shaft here we actually have our uh, drive sprocket and our drive gear. Um, both of those run in the transfer case and are also attached to the driven gear here and this drivetrain. Um, on some certain parts on different ends of the drive shaft there um, we have an oil pump on one side um, that goes along of course with the, the screen and the, the pump that pumps the oil in. We have some bearing seals and some head, some head case parts. And then we actually have in the body of the transfer case here. And inside of here, uh, we actually have a ring gear or what some would call an uh, analyst gear. Um, and inside of here, the planetary gear set sits down here and the main shaft runs through the top. Over here we have both of our sensors and we also have where the oil <clears throat> the oil pump runs along with uh, forks and uh, different uh, clutches and uh, gears for selecting different modes. That's basic overview of transfer cases.